really cute. Hopefully my boobs fit. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. I'm currently on my way to the grocery store right now with Chad, but we decided to drive separately. I'm actually following him because the grocery store is right next to the gym that I go to and I just wanna go get my gym workout done right after the grocery store instead of going home. So we drove separate so he can take the groceries home and I can just go get my workout on. So that is what I'm doing. And then today at two o'clock, I actually have my third tattoo removal session. So I'm super pumped for that. I'll show you guys like what it looks like and give you a whole little update. I have orders to pack and just regular business stuff to do for the boutique, but I'm excited. It's a fresh week. We just finished at the grocery store and now I'm about to go into the gym. I'm just putting my AirPods in. Also, I always get asked where my AirPods case is from and it's from Amazon. It's just like this really cute little case. I got this when I first upgraded my AirPods, so I'll try to link it if I can. I like it because it has a clip on it. I'm back home from the gym and for once I didn't rearrange my gym schedule. I actually did leg day on Monday, which is how it's supposed to be for Jess Hutchins program. Um, but I always switch it because Mondays I never feel like doing legs, but I actually did today and it was a really good leg day. The only thing I didn't end up doing was like the true squats on the squat rack machine because there's like four of them at my gym and all of them were taken. So I just decided to do regular squats with dumbbells instead. It was still something. Made myself an iced coffee. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then we're gonna get this day started because it's gonna be a productive Monday. Way later now and I just got to the laser lounge spot. I'm about to go in and have my third laser tattoo session done. I actually have it wrapped up with saran wrap right now and the numbing cream on even though last time it hurt so bad. I swear the numbing cream didn't really do anything but you know, I'm gonna put it on anyway and hope that maybe it will be better this time. Okay, I'm in here now. She's getting the laser machine set up and here's what my tattoo looks like right now. This is after two sessions and we're about to do the third. We just finished. Here's what it looks like. Little white bubbles that pop up. But we've got some real progress. Super excited. I'm back home. My arm is all taped up and Shockingly, that time was the least painful out of every session I've had so far. So I've had three, that was the third one, and I feel like it hurt the least, which I'm so grateful for because the second time was extremely painful. And this time it just wasn't that bad, I don't know. The lidocaine injections must have just done a better job. I know she said she like just calibrated the machine too. So apparently that's a good thing. I guess the machine is like at its optimum capacity i don't even know if that makes any sense but it went good so we're predicting probably five or six sessions so since this was my third one i can basically say i'm halfway done i'm about to show you guys what it looks like right after you get your tattoo lasered off do not look at this next clip if you get easily grossed out by blood and stuff it's very raw and red as you can see Okay, I'm about to work on one of the very tedious tasks of running the boutique. Luckily, my arm isn't burning that bad, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. If it starts burning too bad, I'll go put ice on it, but right now I'm like, eh, it's not that bad, so I'm just gonna keep working. So since I rebranded the name to Sunstyled, I had these tags made, which I did show you guys already. I've been basically using a string and a little safety pin, and it looks so cute when it's clipped onto a shirt. This is how it looks when it's hanging on a shirt with a safety pin versus just like a regular tag and I think it looks so pretty. So I'm definitely not doing that for everything I sell but for some of the nicer things and just kind of randomly when I feel like doing it, I like to hang them this way and so I'm just gonna kind of prep some of these because I only have two left right now. I tagged a bunch of stuff when I packed inventory earlier and so I need to prep some more.
much later now and we are having dinner. Chad made us our Asian sesame crockpot chicken meal. We serve it over rice with broccoli. It's so good. Good morning guys. It's the next day and I am about to do my makeup. Thought it would be fun to do a little makeup tutorial. Not really tutorial but just kind of show you guys how I'm doing my makeup. I guess that could be a tutorial. I just made my coffee with this very bright green straw that I actually have no idea where it came from, but it looks really cute in this cup. I seriously don't know where it came from though. It was just in our drawer and I decided to use it, so I don't know. The products I'm about to use are all new products and I am so pumped. So this is one of my favorite foundation brands that I always go back to and I got to pick out a bunch of their stuff as well as an eyeshadow palette from Smashbox. And these are all from Look Fantastic, this website where you can pick out tons of makeup from popular brands at discounted rates. And it's kind of like one place you can shop like all of the brands that you love. So I really like it. I will have the links to these products in the description. You guys should definitely check out Look Fantastic. And first, I guess I'll do a little haul and show you guys what I got. So I got the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. So a lot of you guys told me to try this out because I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And this is supposed to be like a very hydrating version of that. Um, super hydrating, moisturizing, and I got it in the same shade as my darkest version of that when I self-tan, and I didn't self-tan yet this week, so uh, might be a little dark. I'll just try to go light with it. I also got the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer, and this is another thing I'm like pretty pumped about because I have not ever used any of Estee Lauder's primers. Also, don't mind my broken nail. That's something that's on the to-do list today is to go get my nails done. These nails have like really been through it with me this week. I have got like chipped nail here. I've got like chips in here. Some of my nails like on one of them have lifted like my nail underneath the acrylic. And then of course this one just completely broke off. Okay. And then I have the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. And I got this one in shade 2W, which is light, medium, warm. And this is another thing I have not tried from them is their concealer. So I'm excited to try this. I'm kind of like pairing all three together. And then this eyeshadow palette is actually like the perfect everyday eyeshadow palette. It's just mini. It's the Cover Shot Minimalist Eyeshadow Palette from Smashbox. I'm going to open it up and show you guys because these colors just look like perfect neutrals. They're like super pretty and neutral. So we're gonna do my makeup on camera. I never do this anymore. It's gonna be like a little first impression since all of this is new makeup for me, which looks a lot like the Smashbox photo finish primer. Oh my gosh, except this feels like, wow. Never mind, I take it back. It looked like it, but it feels like a moisturizer. Super, super soft. Love the way that feels on my skin, very smoothing. I have to go wet my beauty blender. Okay, as I said, this could potentially be a little bit dark for my skin, but usually I do have a spray tan and I'm a little darker than what I am right now. So just disregard. The fact that it's probably a lot darker than what my skin is. I'm gonna go pretty light amount because I don't want to do too much since it's so dark. I need a mirror. Okay, it's super hydrating. It's actually not as dark as I was expecting, but if I did more full coverage, it would definitely look too dark. Now I'm gonna go in with this concealer. Mind you, I didn't get to test any of these, so I honestly don't know what the shades are gonna look like. That looks pretty good, actually. I really like the finish of all of this. It's really like hydrating, but it doesn't look greasy like that one like skin tint oil thingy I tried. Um, but it's still like a little bit of a, you know, fresh skinned look. So I'm just gonna keep this like fresh skin vibes going and do like a really neutral looking eye and then just fill in my eyebrows, kind of keep it simple I think because my skin looks really good with this foundation. So I just kind of want to keep like fresh face today. do too much because I want to keep the fresh face look you know so I am just going to take a tiny bit though and just put it on my lid of this like 
glowy highlighter kind of color. It's convenient that my nail is broken right here, so I don't have to worry about stabbing my eyelid. I don't have a nail. I'm gonna use my Clinique Chubby Stick and just kind of bronze up my face a little. A little contour, if you will. A little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer now over that. My eyebrows are bad right now. They desperately need something. I don't know what. I wasn't gonna put eyeliner on, but I feel like incomplete without it, you guys. It's not me unless I have a little flick, like just a little one, subtle, but we're gonna add it because I have to. Very, very subtle. And I'm finishing off with my NARS Climax. For my lips, the Laneige Lip Grapefruit Glowy Balm. And that is it, my friends. Final makeup look. I actually really like all these products, so I feel I feel good about it, I think. <laughs> Here's a little tattoo update for you guys. You can see how swollen my arm is. You see where it, like, it gets like really fat right there in that area. Um, here's what it looks like. Nice open wound. I actually just washed it. I use the First Aid Beauty to wash it. That's just super clean and is fragrance free. So that's what I've been using to wash it. And then I use this tissue repair cream and then this antibiotic ointment, which I think I've shown you guys these before. Uh, to wrap it up but instead of using this to wrap it i'm going to use saran wrap because it's just more comfortable and less itchy So right now I'm just printing all of the shipping labels for all the orders that came in between yesterday and last night. And I'm just gonna pack up these orders really quick. I think I just have like uh, less than 10, so it won't take very long at all. got my package in from Windsor so we'll do a little Windsor haul really quick I'm so pumped for this stuff I got a bunch of like spring and summer clothes and I just I'm pumped so the first thing I got is this really pretty romper this is like so spring summery definitely something I would try to sell at the boutique very cute, flowy off the shoulder. It ties in the back and then it has a little tie around here. And then the next thing I got are a pair of white shorts. And so I got these ones and they kind of have like a distressed hem, but I like that they're not ripped all up the side. So it's just around the hem and they're so freaking cute. And then I got this really cute white collared shirt. It's like collared, cropped, just basic white shirt. So that shirt actually would look cute with these pants too. Wide leg, high-waisted, just gigantic pants that basically make you look like you actually put effort in your outfit, but it feels like you're wearing sweatpants. Black off the shoulder crop top, which looks tiny as heck. It's really cute, hopefully my boobs fit. And then I got this really, really cute off the shoulder romper. This is so freaking cute. Vacation vibes, like 100%. 
I love this. I'm imagining this with my white espadrille sandals from Sunstyled. Okay, I just had to go grab them because I need you to imagine these with this. Like this little romper and then these little espadrille sandals. <laughs> so cute. And then one of the hats from the boutique. This is so pretty though. It's like a lace long maxi dress and it's like triple lined. I swear this is like super thick. So cozy. So pretty. I can't wait to wear it. I love how the top looks like a bralette. And then I picked out this really cute, another super vacation vibes shirt. This is a wrap top. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with it. It looks even cuter in person than it did online. So it just like ties at the bottom and it's long sleeve. Then I got this swimsuit cover up thing, which I feel like would look so good with just a plain black bikini. It's like a mesh swimsuit cover up and it has like these leaves all over it. So I do love this. And then one of those hats, like the seagrass hat that I have, it's called the Laguna hat. I'm gonna grab that. Windsor X Sunstyled totally goes so well together, like how cute, and then like a black bathing suit. I love strapless stuff. Hi dye so cute. This is a lot more cropped than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like this would be really cute with those white shorts that I just picked out too. And then I saw that they had this really pretty blue bag. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like bluebird blue. Like if I had to describe, a bag reminds me of like a little chanel bag interior is so cute too bag this is 32 dollars 32 dollars and 90 cents totally worth it to go with a pretty pop of color because i can style this with a bunch of those outfits and then the last thing i got is a pair of sandals super cute unlike anything else i have they're actually like clear and nude so they're nude and then they just have like this clear part here so i feel like Nude sandals are just good because you can wear it with anything. I will link all of it in the description. So pumped to style these outfits. Make sure you guys are following me on the Like to Know It app because that's where I typically link my outfits when I post pictures on Instagram. Okay, I just put the white shorts on and I'm in love. I'm just gonna wear these for the rest of the day. So cute. I like that they're a little bit longer too than like typical short shorts because I feel like I don't have to worry about my butt hanging out. And then this shirt, by the way, is from Sunstyle. It just dropped this past Friday. It's called the Plot Twist Top, I think, because it's like two colors, so I named it that. I thought it was cute. It's lunchtime now, and I just made this chicken Santa Fe salad for lunch. I didn't make it, literally. It's one of the prepackaged ones, and you just like add the stuff in. But I love these so much. I talked about them a while back. I can't remember the brand. I think it's called Simply Fresh, and it literally is like the freshest salad. The chicken's so good. I love these. Anyways, I just made a really cute Instagram reels and I'm doing a gift card giveaway on SunStyled. You have to comment on this particular reel. Um, and I'm basically just showing some summer outfits. So I'll show you guys actually really quick. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, you have until Friday. It's just gonna be a small gift card giveaway because I'm not celebrating anything huge and I did just do a $100 gift card giveaway, but I am thinking about possibly doing weekly or like monthly gift card giveaways with the boutique for a couple of reasons. One, because I wanna give back to you guys. Obviously your support means everything to me, but also to kind of reward the people who support the boutique in terms of like engagement and comments and are really active because if you, are on social media you know the importance of getting engagement on your posts otherwise it doesn't get seen that's just how the algorithm works so it really helps me expand the boutique and get to more people when i have that engagement so i kind of want to give back to the people who actually take the time to comment and tag pictures of the boutique when they're wearing the clothes and stuff like that so i haven't decided if i want to just do like weekly or monthly gift card giveaways or if i want to do like kind of randomized gift card giveaways when people who have purchase from the shop, tag it, it kind of like enters them in a giveaway. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm trying to look at what other stores do and get an idea of what would work best for me. Chad vacuumed the floors yesterday. Whenever he vacuums the floors, he stacks both of their beds together. And I swear they are obsessed with double beds. Like they love it. They literally fight over who gets to lay on it when they're stacked like this. It is so funny how much they're obsessed with the double beds. Like it must just be so much more comfortable. I mean, look at him. He's so comfy. I know. It's way late.
later now and I just got four massive boxes of inventory in. So I'm going to be going through all of that and organizing it. You guys know I like kind of rearranged the garage out there. So I have two shelving units. So that alleviates a little bit of my stress in terms of having space for things because I know I can store stuff out there, but it's so annoying when I'm packing orders and half of my inventory is in the garage, you know, and then half of it's in here, but you deal with it. That's what happens when you're running a business out of your home. But I am going to end this vlog here because I know it's super long at this point. It has to be. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.